In this video, we'll demonstrate how to define an automated server deployment before you actually rack and stack the servers. Before you begin, the following tasks should already be completed. Configuring a deployment share and creating a server configuration template. If you need information on how to do these tasks, please watch the videos for each of these. Also, you must add a list of service tags for the target bare metal servers that have not yet been racked and stacked to a CSV file you will reference later in the process. When those items are completed on the deployment portal, click Set Up Auto Deployment. Select the Boot to Network ISO option. You can select this if you want to boot to the server after the server configuration is deployed and to kick off an unattended OS installation or perform other automated configuration tasks, such as updating server firmware. You'll have to create a bootable ISO image to automate whatever tasks you perform. Open Manage Essentials will mount the ISO image to the iDRAC and make the server boot from the image using the iDRAC boot from remote share capability. Click Next. Select the template and then click Next. Input the name of the operating system ISO image, making sure to include the .iso extension. Fill out the IP address and name of the network share, the credentials required to access the network share, and then click Next. Click Import to import the service tags and the devices we will discover later. Please note that the service tags must not already be discovered in Open Managed Essentials. Select the CSV file and click Open. In this example, we have imported only one service tag. Click OK and then click Next. If you don't want to edit any attributes on the configuration template, click Next. Click Add New Credentials. Fill out a unique description and the credentials of the target device. This will normally be the factory default credentials. Click Finish. Since this is the first time credentials were added, credentials were assigned automatically for all devices listed in the device section. Click Next. Review the summary and then click Finish. A warning message will appear. Click Yes to continue. Click OK. When you click OK, the service tag is displayed in the Auto Deployment tab. Next, you need to set up discovery rules to auto-discover the servers once they are racked and stacked. Click Add Discovery Range and fill out the details required for device discovery. Once finished, go to the Discovery and Inventory portal to view the status of the device discovery. The auto deployment task that you created verifies periodically if the service tag is discovered in inventory. By default, the verification occurs every 60 minutes. You can modify these settings based on your preferences. Now go back to the deployment portal. If the service tag is discovered in inventory when verification occurs, the auto deployment task is started. The status of this task is displayed in the task execution history. Notice that the service tag is moved automatically to the repurpose and bare metal devices group when the task runs. The deployment should take about 10 to 15 minutes. The deployment is now complete. At this point you can use the iDRAC virtual console and see that the server has booted to the operating system on the network share. For more information about Open Manage Essentials, visit dell.com forward slash OME or visit delltechcenter.com forward slash OME.